longest palindromic substring after seeing this we might get some question what is a palindrome what is the substring how to find the longest palindromic substring first we will see what is a palindrome malayalam is the most common example from our childhood for palindrome dad and mom are some two palindrome or sequence of characters that reads the same from backward as forward like this race ka doesn't mean that the palindrome must have a meaning can be this or it can be this or maybe this big or even this small now let's see about substring substring a contiguous sequence of characters within a string we consider this as a string this is one of the substring and this is also one of the substring for this string a b c d a is one of the substring a b is one of the substring a b c is also one of the substring and a b c d is also a substring but a d and b a cannot be a substring because one is not in order another not contiguous all possible substrings for this string a b c d are these now let's see how to find the longest palindromic substring let's consider this string for the walk through to understand clearly the idea is to consider every character as a center of a palindrome and expand on both sides if they are similar so we use an array to store how much we can expand from here and initially we fill it with zeros to help you follow through we have used green color to represent the longest palindrome we have seen thus far blue color to represent the center of the longest palindrome we have seen thus far and red to represent the palindrome we are currently checking first we'll start with this character b there is no possible expansion because we do not have similar characters on either side so we do not make any changes you may wonder why it is changed to blue because this is the longest palindrome we have seen thus far and it is also the center of that palindrome don't worry you will catch soon if you go further now with this c as center since we have similar character on either side we can expand once and we can't expand further so we update the value to 1 so these two b's are changed to green with c blue as center because this is the longest palindrome we have seen thus far with c as center now with this b as center we can't expand because both left and right characters are different now you could see the longest palindrome have not changed now moving with the next character we will expand since they are same and we expand again and we expand one further since we have expanded the thrice the value is updated in the array with 3 and this is the longest palindrome we have seen thus far with this b as center we can see that we are inside the scope of the longest palindrome can we reduce any duplicate work from here let's go find out let's take the substring which is the longest palindrome until now with this a as center let's see this string in a different perspective now we can understand that palindromes are mirror or symmetrical from center these three character and these three character are same or symmetrical for easy understanding we'll get the value from the array for this b the value is 0 for this c yes the value is 1 for this b the value is 0 since the other characters are different now you could see that we have literally copied the values from the mirror yes we can directly copy the value of the mirror but remember we are only talking about the minimum possible expansion length 
natural expansion length could be more. Let's get back to the original view. Say we are somewhere here. How to find the mineral position of this character? What we know already is the center of the longest palindrome and the current position. Let's see how to find the mirror. The things we already we know was the right end or current position, the center of the palindrome, and left end or mirror. We generally know that left plus right by 2 is equal to center. This can be written as mirror plus i by 2 equal to c in our case, which can be written as mirror plus i equal to 2 into c. Finally, mirror equal to 2 into c minus 1. Now, we can get the value of the mirror using this formula. Now, consider this new example. Assume we are somewhere here and we have this as the longest palindrome with A as center and the mirror would be this. The value of the mirror will be 2 since it can be expanded twice. Now you could see that if we copy the value of the mirror it will be wrong. Why? Because the palindrome at mirror expands beyond the left boundary of the current longest palindrome. So in this case the minimum certainly possible expansion length at the current element will be index of the right end of the longest palindrome minus index of the current element which will be 1 in this case. Now let's try to apply what we have learned. Now we will be using one more arrow to point the mirror. The value of the mirror for this character is 0 and this character cannot be expanded. So we do not make any changes and move to the next character. For this character, the value of the mirror is 1. So we will start to expand after that value. So we will be start expanding from these two A's. And these two B's can also be covered. And these two C's also can be covered. Now we have expanded three times. And the value of the mirror is 1. So we'll update the value in the array to 4. Now we have the new longest palindrome. Now we will the pointer moves to the next character. For this character, the value of the mirror is 0. And this character cannot be expanded. So we move to the next character. Now you can see that if you copy the mirror, the palindrome with this character as a center will be this, which is not a palindrome. And you can see that it crosses the scope of the longest palindrome. So what we'll do, we'll subtract the index of right end of longest palindrome, which is 9, and the index of the current element, which is 7. So we'll update the value as 2. So we'll move to the next character. The value of the mirror is 0 and this character cannot be expanded further. So no changes can be made and the pointer moves to the next character. Now we are not going to check the mirror because we are not inside the longest palindrome. We are at the edge but not inside the longest palindrome. So in this case we must expand from beginning. But this character cannot be expanded. So no changes can be made. The pointer moves to the next character. And we can't make any expansion. So we have come to the end of the array. Now what we'll be doing is we'll get the max value in the array, which is 4. And the index of the array points to the index of the string, which is C. Now we'll expand from this character four times to the left and four times to the right to get the new string. This is the longest palindrome for this string.
we have used string of odd length but if we use even length string we may get an issue for this string the longest palindrome is b a a b and the center comes somewhere here so what to do in this case so we will insert a special character between every characters to make every string of length odd like this so if we proceed with the algorithm we have seen earlier we could get the longest palindrome the only thing we have to do is we have to remove the special characters at the end or oh. algorithm we have seen is manacus algorithm the time complexity of the algorithm is big o of n the space complexity of the algorithm is also big o of n the code is in the description always remember the code or language you program is not at all important the approach to any problem is more important thank you